outside as much as you can. And a lot of folks, I, I play this game with myself about where we're flying over the earth. I try to come in here and just guess. After being here for a little while, you can sort of figure it out. You can tell different cloud types over different continents. You can tell different soil types over different continents. So let's see. And then, of course, there's a lot of ocean. So usually we're over the ocean at first glance. I will tell you in just a moment where we are. There we go. So right now we are right over Africa. It's a little bit cloudy, as you can tell. But we're right over the continent of Africa. Hey, what's that? I think that's a Soyuz spacecraft. That's the spacecraft that's taken us home to planet Earth today. Oh my gosh. We might have to go take a look at that. That's pretty cool. It's a little bit smaller than the rest of uh, the spacecraft, the space station. So you'll see um, if we get, go there, it will be a little bit more crammed. But we're going, you can look all the way back to the back of the spacecraft, which is where the Russian segment is. And then you could look all the way forward to uh, the front of the spacecraft. Where the, uh, where the Japanese laboratory, the European laboratory, and the American laboratory are. And then back to the solar arrays where we started in the, this morning when we were looking out the Japanese window. So other questions that were here are, um, what would you re recommend as a job, if so, uh, and to what type of person would want to be an astronaut? I think people who would like to explore. Uh, of course, people who like math and science, that's what this is all about. Um, the, we have people in the office who are doctors, teachers, veterinarians, engineers, pilots. So all sorts of people um, become astronauts. And 